The BDS movement, which advocates boycott, divestment and sanctions against Israel, has strong roots in the UK and extensive support amongst British student groups. Using the alias Robin, Al Jazeera's undercover reporter infiltrated Israel's efforts to counteract BDS. Robin posed as a pro-Israeli activist and within weeks came into contact with an Israeli embassy official. I'm Robin. Israeli embassy. Ah, okay, nice to meet you. My name is Shai. Shai? Shai, yeah. Over the subsequent months, Shai Massot was covertly recorded admitting the Israeli embassy's involvement in groups which publicly at least identify themselves as independent. There is a grassroots organization as uh, Sussex Friends of Israel that joined the demonstration. There is a uh, Israel Britain Alliance. There is a uh, Bitcoin. There, there is so many people living in Israel. There is so many. Confident that Britain's governing conservatives are pro Israel, the London Embassy has turned its attention instead to influencing Britain's opposition Labour Party. How do you approach them? So, first of all, I think you need something to sell. Right? Theoretically, maybe LFI would agree to do a delegation to Israel. And that's always a good start. Inviting delegates onto escorted tours of Israel is a well-established tactic. I went on one of the trips of the Conservative Friends of Israel to the Middle East. It was brilliantly well arranged, very well looked after. You got fantastic access. You did meet Palestinians. If all you did was rely on that one trip, you would have a very one-sided point of view. Neither the Israeli embassy nor Shai Massot responded to Al Jazeera's findings. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera.